Ahmed Tabiltoglu, former Prime Minister of Turkey, thank you very much for being in WPC. You've just made a very interesting speech. But you mentioned the, the policy for which you were most famous, which was that uh, Turkey should have friends with all the neighbors. It doesn't seem to be working at the moment. What has gone wrong and why? In fact, that principle was uh, a basic principle to change the mindset of Turkish foreign policy. Because throughout uh, decades, there was a uh, uh, misperception that Turkey uh, surrounded by enemies. And it, at the beginning, it was very successful because we had uh, really uh, workable counterparts. And in five, six years after 2002, when we came to power, we improved relations with all the neighboring countries and we established high level strategic com commission meetings between governments. But unfortunately, after the Arab League, these uh, several countries became fragile, and the existing existing countries were not able to run the uh, real business in the country. For example, S Syria. Yeah. We had excellent relations, and I personally work very hard to have best relations with Syrian, uh, with Syria, and with Syrian leaders, as, uh, with Bashar Assad, yeah. until 2011, when he started to. Uh, attack civilians and later used chemical weapons against it. Now, who is your counterpart in Syria to have best relation is a question. Similarly, in Libya, the whole in Arab Iraq, Spring has yeah, destabilized. Spring, yes, the that, that was one of the reasons uh, why you are not able to establish the best relations, because you don't have a proper counterpart to have a proper dialogue, to have good relations. Otherwise, even today, we had good relations with Ukraine, with Russia, with Georgia, with Azerbaijan, with uh, Bulgaria, uh, Greece. Still, we are keeping good relations. We are having problems only where the central government is not able to control the situation. And you have to deal with, for your stability, you have to deal with the uh, sub-national groups. Uh, but the most, groups. I suppose, difficult problem in the long term, medium to long term, following all this instability will be how to deal with the situation of the Kurds. Kurds in Iraq, in Syria, and obviously, of course, uh, the Kurdish minority in, in Turkey. How, what sort of solution can you envisage? Uh, I think in the region, if you want to have regional peace, uh, there should be respect to territorial integrity. Everybody must respect. And without having, like Helsinki Act in 1974, in the region, what we need is uh, a, a agreed principle that all the territories will be protected. Otherwise, territories, if start to ch be changed in one part of the region, that will have a domino effect. Uh, therefore, Kurdish people living in the region should be having peace and stability in the respective uh, countries. And in Turkey, uh, throughout centuries we lived uh, all different uh, ethnic and religious groups in Turkey. And we have a democracy, so they can uh, have all the rights uh, and they have you know, a proper platform to raise the issues if they have. In Syria and Iraq, uh, because of the Ba'ath regimes and Arab nationalistic approach, Kurds have been denied. Like in Iraq, Kurds have been suffered and but executed. But it must have been a mistake for Barzani to call the referendum. Yeah. yeah. Barzani uh, and KRG has been a good friend of Turkey during my term and afterwards and before. Because for the stability of our border with Iraq, uh, KRG is an important partner. But he made a miscalculation. Uh, and because of that mis miscalculation, he uh, lost uh, several advantages. Uh, and uh, even the stability of KRG has been affected. If he listened Turkish advice and other countries' advice and not go to a referendum today, the situation for him would have been much better. But that should not be seen as an advantage for a sectarian or ethnic supremacy or hegemony of other groups as well. Kurds are uh, one of the essential ethnicity in Iraq uh, and Tur Turkmen. Kurdish, Arab, all the people in Iraq, especially in Kirkuk, should be living peace, in peace. And in Syria, uh, we are not anything against Kurdish rights. In fact, in 2011, when I went to Bashar Assad, in order to convince him not to use 
uh, weapon against the civilians and for democratic reforms, one of the things we requested from him was to give identity card to Kurds living in Syria. So we were trying to defend Kurdish rights in Syria. But the problem is, existing Kurdish uh, group in Syria, in, in Syria, P, PYD, YPG, they are uh, extension of PKK. And they are not even tolerant to other Kurdish groups, forget other ethnicities. Uh, therefore, they had conflict with Barzani as well, uh, pro-Barzani groups. Therefore, solution, if there is an issue of solution uh, for Kurds in the region, Kurds should be living in peace in all the states in the region. And Turkey will be help helping Kurds wherever they are, like other nations, whenever they suffer anything, like what happened in Halepçe, they escaped to Turkey. And uh, e even during the issue of Kobani, they came to Turkey uh, when Daesh, ISIL attacked uh, Kurds in Kobani. But this should not mean that uh, one terrorist group will be removed and another terrorist group, PKK, should be coming back. Indeed. Thank you very much. We, I, I think, as the Chinese say, we live in interesting times, which of course is That's a curse right. in itself. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Thank you.